duckies, Andy Lippy here. Loop Deck have sent me out their brand new product, the Loop Deck Live S. This is a smaller, more affordable version of their Loop Deck Live. I will take you through the unboxing, the features, the difference between the two devices, and my honest thoughts to the Loop Deck Live S. So crack that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and put your rocket for the stone. The Loop Deck Live S is a macro pad for your PC. You can use it to control many different applications, from controlling shortcuts on your PC to making many applications much easier to use, like controlling every aspect of your OBS scenes. Many streamers love these type of device to manage their live stream and also make it more interactive with things like soundboards. If you want to see current pricings in your currency, see the affiliate links below. Every purchase will also go to supporting the channel. Let's take a look what's inside the box. So flying into the unboxing, love this box design. Minimalistic, but still has that Loop Deck branding flair. I mean, come on, we're a few blue ghosts away from a powered up Pac-Man going rampant. We're greeted by the product straight away. This is how all products should be packaged in my opinion. There's accessories underneath, a 2 meter braided USB-C to USB-C cable that's angled on one side, which is a godsend as the OG Loop Deck Live only came up with 1 meter. Also, if you aren't able to use USB-C on your PC, Loop Deck added a cheeky adapter from USB-C to USB-A, which is a lovely attention to detail. Underneath that is all the usual paperwork, blah blah blah. Then finally, the stand. There is a very small amount of plastic to peel off around the edges then you can click the stand into place i was a little afraid of breaking it but it takes a little force to get in so looking at the loop deck live and the loop deck live s next to each other you will see that they're quite similar the loop deck live s is pretty much the best part of the loop deck the, the top half. We have had the four knobs replaced by four customizable buttons, which are RGB. You also see there are two small screens missing on the left and right. These were there to inform you what the status was on each of the knobs. Don't worry though, as this has not been overlooked. The Loop Deck Live S has an extra column of windows. You can actually see updates on the screens next to the dials every time you interact with them or switch between dial pages. You can actually make this information stay on screen all the time in the device settings. The knobs feel really satisfying to turn. Uh, each notch feels tight with a nice click. These can be used for smoothly adjusting your audio volume, scroll down web pages, and so much more. The Loop Deck Live S is an incredible competitor to the new Elgato Stream Deck Plus that recently released. It throws a good mix of buttons and knobs like the Stream Deck Plus does, but it also undercuts the price by 15%, which is a huge plus in today's climate. If you would like to see a comparison video, let me know in the comments below. Even though the Loop Deck has touchscreen, they have added a vibration when a window is pressed. Loop Deck calls this a haptic feedback on the Live S, but it still feels more like a traditional vibration. This is why I hated using my tablet as a deck, as I didn't like not having feedback when a button was pressed. You can adjust the strength in the device settings too. There are many different integrations that you can get for Loop Deck. These will allow it to communicate with different applications. By default, there are quite a few built in, such as OBS, Philips Hue, Twitch, Spotify and much more. If you cannot find the piece of software you are wanting from the marketplace, don't worry, you can always trigger hotkeys to control anything on your computer. I could go into great detail on the software, but this video would be too long. If you want to see more tutorials on Loop Deck, then let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. I love the size of the Loop Deck Live S. It packs so much great functionality, but maintaining a decent form factor. The only thing I think they have room for improvement on is the stand. This applies to both of the Loop Decks. The stand feels flimsy and personally, I don't think the device angle is high enough. Not to mention the device angle for the Loop Deck Live and the Loop Deck Live S are completely 
different. This just messes with my OCD. This is something Elgato have got right with their various products. They are at a comfortable angle and match across the range. It would be nice to see Loop Deck make a better stand that's potentially adjustable but for an affordable cost. It would also be nice to see the device have some kind of cable management, maybe through an upgraded stand. As far as the Loop Deck software is concerned, it took me a little while to get my head around going in fresh but as soon as I played around with it for 5-10 to 10 minutes, I started getting the hang of it. It really does open so many possibilities. It's great for you streamer bot users, as there is a streamer bot add-on in the marketplace, so you can control all of your streamer bot actions from the loop deck. As far as Sammy is concerned, there isn't a dedicated add-on, but you can still control Sammy using keyboard shortcuts and mapping them to the loop deck. If you want to see a video on this, let me know in the comments below as well. Something I would love loop deck to add is the ability to hold buttons down for different triggers. For instance, having a button to cycle through different pages, but then holding it down will take you back to the home page again. The Loop Deck Live S is, in my opinion, a great companion for any streamer. With how much can be controlled with it, it can definitely streamline a streamer setup, making daily tasks a breeze. Just remember, the more time you put into the Loop Deck, the more useful it will become. I much prefer the smaller form factor than the OG Loop Deck Live, especially since it doesn't really lose any functionality. Actually, do you already have a Loop Deck or have you used one before? I would love to know what your thoughts are on the Loop Deck Live S in the comments below. Don't forget to show your appreciation for this video by tapping that like button. Again, for all of the product pricings in your currency, check out the links in the description and pinned comment. If you are to purchase one, it is an affiliate link, so it will support the channel. So I'd like to thank you for that as well. If you want to see more product openings, then click here and check out more great content, click here. Put your rug over the stone.